Okay, so I think I've found the theory of everything. It's the greatest unsolved puzzle in physics, and it explains everything. It's what we've all been searching for. Let's start with the big things. What's the biggest thing you can think of? You're wrong. You need to think bigger. Right now, we're on a rock spinning 1,000 miles per hour and turning at one and a half million miles a day around the sun. You're being thrown around at incredible speeds. Our sun is only one of 300 billion stars in the Milky Way, which itself is rotating. And because the universe is expanding, nearly every galaxy is moving away from every other galaxy. Stars, planets, space debris, they're all separated by huge, epic distances. Forget the Star Wars fantasy of what an asteroid field is. You could fly through even the densest field that we've spotted and not even know that you're in one. Generally speaking, Star Wars is not a good reference for planetary physics. So we're spinning, turning, moving further apart and massively alone. But according to everything we know, there should be more out there. A hell of a lot more. We reckon the universe is made up of 73% dark energy, which we can't see, 23% dark matter, which we also can't see, and the other 4% is everything else. Us, the stars, the heavens, radiation, uh, Tennis, war, peace, jealousy, cheese. Everything that we think our universe is, just 4%. Now, what if you woke up one morning and realized that the world you've been living in was just 4% of everything that's out there? How would you prove what you can't see actually exists? <laughs> this table feels solid, but actually its atoms are almost entirely empty. An atom is made up of a nucleus with electrons swirling around it, but the nucleus is only a million billionth of the volume of an atom. The rest is nothing. Its strength comes from the electromagnetic force keeping it together, and um, that's why it hurts. This is the clever bit. Although we can't see dark matter, we know it's there because it affects the course of the nucleus. In the theory of everything, it explains all things from the very big to the very small. And it's been in front of us the whole time. When Einstein was asked to explain his theory of relativity, he said, sit with a pretty girl for an hour and it seems like a minute. That's relativity. Einstein knew it, and I think I've discovered it for myself. It's not rocket science. It's love. Although we can't see love, we know it's there because it affects the course of our lives. Being love-struck is the strongest force in the universe. And that's why it hurts. Before I met Amy, I was spinning, turning, moving further apart and massively alone. I was almost entirely nothing. Now I know we can only see 4% of what's around us. I found what everyone is searching for.